I'm in Redstone, Colorado. It's such a beautiful, quaint little town. I've uh, been here quite a few times and was heading down the highway uh, on my way to what's called McClure Pass. And I was about to just pass right on by and something dawned on me. Might be a good idea to uh, take a few shots with this uh, lens and tell you about something that's kind of personal to me that has to do with that river right there. I'll get back around to the lens, I promise. Um, quite a number of years ago, I was turned on to this form of meditation uh, called Leaves on a Stream. And if you search for that, you'll see a lot, but search for Leaves on a Stream, um, Naomi Goodlett, uh, she's from Australia. And I did some kind of coaching sessions with her and she led me to that. And basically it's you're, you're sitting beside a stream and you have a, uh, a unlimited number of autumn leaves next to you. And every thought that comes up, you put it onto that leaf, set it on the stream and it floats away. And from time to time, that's been a real, just an awesome form of centering for me in meditation. Um, one of my favorite places on the planet, uh, I ended up picturing actually this place. I picture being on a boulder right there in the middle of the Crystal River um, and out there with my stack of leaves putting those cares and worries and just random thoughts um, on those leaves and letting them go floating gently by. This lens here is the Olympus Zuko, I guess that's how you pronounce it, uh, 24 millimeter F2 lens um, that uh, was made, of course, for film cameras, a little vintage lens that I just love. The, uh, it's by far the widest manual focus lens that I brought on this trip. And being that it's an F2 lens, um, you can get nice and close up to objects and really throw the background out of focus. It has some wild bokeh uh, effects, uh, especially when you get up close. Um, the, fo the, uh, the focusing distance is really, really short. It must not be any uh, longer than that, so basically getting four, six inches away from something, you can nail focus. I found it to be very, very sharp, um, kind of a busy bokeh, but at the same time, this lens is also known for this swirly bokeh that it catches in the background that lends to a lot of character. Once again, these manual focus lenses are just such a joy to use, and some of the constraints that you have with them um, really lend towards creativity and just feeling good. Uh, this is hanging off of my Sony a7R 3 camera. Um, and uh, again, this being a, a fast lens, a 24 millimeter F2, F2 is very fast for a, a 24 millimeter lens. Um, it's tiny compared to modern day uh, 24 millimeter F2 lenses. It would be so long and that big around, ridiculously big and heavy, but uh, it's much simpler and made during a simpler time. So some local sent me up this dirt road, said that uh, eventually it'd lead me to Texas, but uh, I've been on it for an hour and a half so far, and I think this is a bad prank. Anyway, it's given me a good opportunity to, uh, uh, oh, oh God, test out the, um, in-camera image stabilization of this Sony. Hey, uh, do me a big favor. Please don't tell my wife I'm taking her new car up this road. 